another episode of I Have Notes, the show where people with a surprisingly large IMDb list uh, talk things all animation, uh, creative, and uh, hard salami. Uh, my name is Carrie Shawcross, and uh, you know what? Issa is actually taking this week off, so I have a different co-host this week. Uh, I, I'm so excited to introduce you to uh, her. For it's her first episode. Uh, Aaron Wynn, everybody. Hey! Yay! No this is way. co-host Aaron, not co-host guest Aaron. Aaron. All new, exclusive, seen it here first. Uh, and with us we have Cole. I'm here too. There he is! If you turn your head 90 degrees sideways <laughs> right now, you will get stick bugged. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and who's to my right? Who could it be? It's Jordan. Stick oh, 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 oh see, what I said. <laughs> what I said. <laughs> Get stick bug. Fucking wasn't gotcha. expecting that. Stick bug. Oh my God. <laughs> St- stick bug is. We did not stick plan bug that. meme gives me hope in humanity. It does. We that's, that's the thing about Jordan and I. We were together for <laughs> such a long time that it's. it's yeah, uh, it's all it's all subliminal. It's all telepathic. Yeah, yeah it's all. I mean. Sexual, really. Uh, you know, yes. think about it. said that. It's yeah, original. No, no. It's original. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's classic. Yeah. I, to be, uh, yeah. To, full transparency. I was trying to remember all of the descriptors they used in the Backstreet's Back song. Yeah. From oh. I, 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 the Backstreet's Back <laughs> I album, but yeah. I only remembered two of them: sexual and original. Yeah. Oh, I picked up and then on like that. A subliminal scary and sporty. Uh, no, and, and baby, a baby, and uh, um, back, which, Parmesan. Which Backstreet Boys is your favorite? <laughs> Parmesan, um, <laughs> old and old, old, old spice. Uh, <laughs> how's uh, outside of getting stick bug? Uh, how's everybody? How's everybody doing? Busy. It's good Do- to good to have you back on, Cole. Thanks for having me. It was a, a, so much fun last time. I couldn't wait to come back. <laughs> yeah. You- well, you had to. I drank all yeah. my beer, so no, good. No, pi- no pickle beer. Yeah. No, no pickle, pickle beer, bee. and then it's sold oh, out. You can't get it anywhere. No. It's it's flying off the shelves. It's oh, no. by popular demand, unobtainable. Yeah, or, I bought them all up so that uh, no one could have any more. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say they're just buying it and dumping it out. Okay, Jordan, wow. are you are you anti pickle beer too? Yeah, it sounds Thank awful. Thank you. Thank you. Gross. Yeah, Don't need we that. have. I think a, there's a strong group of us. Like Cole, it. it's it's just Cole. Yeah, <laughs> nope. Melanie likes it. Gus likes it. Chris Kokinos likes it. We're gonna get you. There I'm are just saying. Of us. We're gonna, we're gonna make our own podcast. The, yeah, I have the, pickle beer podcast. The government's like, hey, uh, you know, maybe we should ban TikTok. Blah blah blah. Ban pickle beer first, okay? Yeah, yeah. I don't need that. I don't need that, okay. and I don't like Microsoft, what other people Microsoft enjoy things that I don't. Buying all of it. Exactly. Are, is Microsoft buying pickle beer? Yeah. <gasps> I don't want that. Yeah, oh. I, I don't need it to sync with my Windows and my Xbox. <laughs> whenever, it is it green. whenever it disconnects from Wi-Fi, it'll go. It's all good. No <laughs> worries. Is it? Wait, is it a stoner too? I mean, I mean, yeah. It's it's pickled. It, like some, it, Microsoft's in Seattle. Microsoft's hey. in Seattle, man. Hey. Connecting the dots. Hey. Connect all, like, you just have like the map to the side. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, hey, this isn't Red Web. This is <laughs> Red Web. Oh, that, okay, fair. We'll save it for them. Yeah. Welcome Did to it... Green Web. <laughs> this is Pickle Web. <laughs> oh! Nice to meet you. Hell yeah, man. I'm on Did board. anybody do anything fun this weekend? This last weekend? Because I didn't. I had a four weekend. day weekend because I took. Whoa. I know, crazy. I took Thursday and Friday off. Oh. And it was amazing. Was it magical? It was. I feel like a new person. We'll see how was long it, that uh, lasts. <laughs> just need like a kind of like a mental health break, kind yeah, of like yeah. chill. Yeah. Yep. I ba- I basically stayed home and what did I do? I finally finished Death Stranding. Ooh. Um, I know, crazy. I can finally play other games now. Um, <laughs> Free. Is that why you feel like a different person? Yes. Because Kojima changed you. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say what you want about that game, but I love it. Um, what else did I do? I did some planting. Oh, um, what kind of plants? Uh, a lot of succulents, a lot of Ooh. aloe vera plants. Big, big suck. Big suck. Big suck. Yeah, honestly, ready, yeah. ready for them burns. 
<laughs> and then I started watching uh, Great Pretender on Netflix. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Have you watched any of it? I watched uh first two and a half episodes. Oh, I watched the first three episodes. So. Can I get what? Can I get a clarification? What was it called again? Great, great pretender. pretender. Great, great. Oh, pretender. Got it. Great. Thank you. Got it. Not great Grito. pretender. I was a little bit more interested when it was great pretender. Great um, what uh, what uh, what's it about? What Anime. Is it? is it about grapes? I mean, well, Nicole explains. I mean, yeah, I have, like explains. you're you're about to open up a can of worms. Okay. Let's <laughs> open. Let's open, open that open pickle up. Yeah, okay, open up that okay. can of pickle beer. So it's based off a of Freddie Mercury song, first off. Uh, okay, that it's I about, did know. Uh, <laughs> it's about um, a guy who's pretending. No, it's about con. Uh, what is it? Confident artists, otherwise known as con men. Uh, they're, uh, oh, my God. Essentially, it's about these Japanese con men who uh, he's, like, trying to be ripping people off. And uh, he gets picked up by an American con man who's like, hey, I'm going to show you how to do it for real in America. So We do know how to, how to be the worst, yeah. 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 We're the best at being the worst. I would definitely say that that's true. But it's a t like a Ocean's Eleven type mm -hmm. anime with like, oh, they're all they're trying to rip off like Hollywood execs who are uh, drug Secretly, kingpins and stuff. Yeah, and like mob bosses, whatnot. Yeah, yeah. It's now, a it's a very appealing art style too. Art style is yeah. really good. Nice I was trying to, to watch. identify the character director. It looks really familiar. Or uh, character uh, designer, but great pretender yeah that looks good yeah is yeah. it um now i'm not uh this isn't like a call out i because I, I i you said something and it makes i'm curious because i didn't know there was a difference you said it's braced on a freddie mercury song but not a queen song correct i believe uh that was freddie mercury did a solo i did not know that that's cool <laughs> he, he did a solo yeah. just one you <laughs> and also that's the ending song the ending song is the great pretender performed by the late queen vocalist uh freddie mercury originally by the platters oh that's cool oh. i feel so bad because my netflix has been auto skipping the end credits so i actually do i know i'm like i have to say hey knock it off <laughs> yeah, Dude, it's yeah. Not quick enough. To, netflix can't get the cr credits off your screen fast enough sometimes I know. like, like, I that like watching the like, credits sometimes that these people deserve like, it i know yeah It'll pop up and say, watch credits, and then, like, three seconds, it's yeah. gone. And yeah. It's like, I needed to know who was in this or worked <laughs> on it. Well, it's also bad for anime, because anime notoriously puts essential content mm -hmm. in or <laughs> after the credits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it'll reveal character deaths and stuff, like, characters who are alive, yeah. characters who are dead, characters who were born. It really reveals them all. I mean, you guys don't all uh, just sit there, like, with your remote pointed at the screen constantly, just, like, just in case. I mean, I guess I have to start... I need to start now. getting ready. Yeah. yeah. You need a bit like, oh, it's it's winding down. I better get ready. And then, hey. But when the only time I like... do that is when I'm watching Attack on Titan. So I can pause yeah. at the commercial break because it's like, oh, and read a, all the information. A wall of text. <laughs> there's like, like, the 3D you. maneuvering oh, device. A... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But also <laughs> somewhere in there is like, and this character almost died, and you're like, "What? What? When? What?" <laughs> I also like how that always spoils that. That always spoils the episode, though. That's yeah, that wall of text oh, because you know, like, what's gonna happen? Like, yeah, because they'll always put like a footnote. It's like, yes, this great uh, catapult is used for this thing. Also, uh, not many people know this, but there's one thing you can pull that destroys the catapult, and it's like, well, I know what's gonna happen this episode. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> Let me. I want to ask you a question. When you're, because I, I, like, anime does this the most. I feel like, but I mean, a lot of like network shows do like. If especially if you're binging, actually either way, do y'all watch like the next time on, on shows, or do you try and skip it so it doesn't like? Spoil Not you? if I'm gonna watch the next one, yeah. Like if you're like I, right back to back. I went through, yeah, watching all of like the Dragon Ball Super, and mm -hmm. like a third of the show is the next time on. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> like. That's so also, I just I've, I just always skip that. What well, else goes next about... time on? Last time on. <laughs> I see that's that's talking a lot about uh, One Piece over the break, or over the break, over the quarantine. God, I wish it was a break. Mm -hmm. uh, Summer break. Um, I'm yeah, breaking. People, people and that's like the that's like one of the falls with those shonen shows that last the entire year. Mm. Is like um they, f a lot of times the first fifteen minutes of the episode will be the previous fifteen minutes of the previous episode. And so it's just like you're only getting like really. 15 minutes of new content it's a cost saving yeah. tactic Dragon... it's like hey we have to make 52 weeks of sh episodes this year so yeah. let's have I, half of... 
I just wish somebody stopped them when they said that sentence and said, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You don't, just don't. have to make 52 episodes this year. <laughs> oh, they do, though. <laughs> it's it's One Piece. They're not going to not guess, make 52. Yeah. That's like the cash cow. It's Naruto. They're not going to not make that many episodes. But no, Put me Naruto? in charge of what? it. I'll make it work. Sorry. Boruto's dad. There you go, Carrie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Thanks. I was yeah, like, well, what oh. are you talking about? <laughs> no, the One last... Piece has it down to a science. One Piece, they have two minute and 30 second intros so that way they don't huh. have to do credits mm. wow all right you heard it here first ruby volume eight. Oh no five minute long intro oh my God. <laughs> five minute long credits five minute long episode done i think that means we, we already done with the season well we had some uh audio issues sorry uh, cole got stick bugged i got stick uh, bugged. i had too many tabs got stick, stick bugged bug. too many tabs of stick bugs <laughs> open <laughs> uh, on average, how many do you have open? On average, how many stick? On bug average, tabs? how many stick bugs? Yeah. Um. Well, I I have one pipe into my my uh my TV over here, so right. one giant of stick course. bug, and then I have my other monitor right here that normally has about like what, 16, 16 stick bugs. <laughs> mm, okay. And then okay. Is it is it have, like is it mosaic tiled? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like Brady Bunch style, I have notices <laughs> in the center surrounded by ten right. stick bugs. <laughs> Right. It's a Zoom call Very where good. most of them are stick bugs. Yeah. <laughs> and you best be oh, believing man. none of them are in sync. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no they're way more me. backstreet. Call back. Right. Uh, you know what mm, good. stick bug would be great in? <gasps> fall Guys. Oh, my Whoa. gosh. Because oh. apparently anybody can be in Fall Guys if you just spend money. Which I guess how is much, going to charity. How much money? You can you can do anything if you spend money. It's true. Put, it got up. Yeah. I think it's still going, but it was really hot. I'm gonna look at it. Wait, so I, I actually don't know what this is about. What the hell are you talking about? So there's this game called Fall Guys. Okay, I'm I'm there. I know I yeah. I know that people want in the game, and I knew that they're putting Witcher and they're putting near automata in there. But are I they know actually? I thought about. that was just like a I mean they like we could Near Automata, all the people involved were like, we want to do this. And Stickbook, or um, Stickbook, Fall Guys <laughs> are like, we want you to do this. Same thing with okay. Witcher. Like, I mean, so, I, so I, Fall Guys I, is doing uh, the Battle of the Brands, and the yes. highest bidder that donates to a uh, special effect, a charity that they selected, mm -hmm. uh, gets their brand in. Right now, as of this recording, it's FGTV. I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. Never I probably just. Them made myself look terrible right now uh and they have so far donated they, they they're they're willing to donate four hundred twenty two thousand two hundred twenty two dollars and 22 cents i believe that's um, fg that's it fg TV. tv it's family oh, gaming TV. television is, uh, is what they're trying to get it's a good good christian channel yeah uh, so they, they have what's, 16 what's the million subs be? like jesus christ probably or just their logo or something oh yeah Oh, for a really while, it was Jesus. the, no, the you're bidet right. company. I bet for a, for a while it was the bidet company. Just and it was a it was the fall guy wearing a shirt that says "Show me your butthole." <laughs> uh, and I really wanted that to win. If I'm being honest, just that as long as there's just as long it, as it's not another pigeon, I'm good. What do you like? Okay, Cole and I play man. Fall Guys together. Yeah, and he doesn't like the pigeon. Discuss. Statistically, you're an asshole if you pick the pigeon. I so you... play as the pigeon. Discuss. Yes. Okay. You... There, uh, there are outlying numbers. <laughs> Trying to. Sorry, George. <laughs> 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 uh, I was going to ask. <laughs> you tend to encounter pigeons, and most of the time, they like grab you and throw you off and like get in your way and shit. That's what you're saying. But. Yes, I'm saying I'm saying that Fall Guys themselves have come out and said that that is the the stat. Ah, what is the percentage oh. on that? Uh, I don't, they didn't give an actual percentage. They just said that um, Most you all have pigeons. you all have a friend on your you all have a friend who's a pigeon. Oh. <laughs> like they're so like if you're a pigeon on the yellow team. Yes, oh. this you are. You are. You're the worst. The worst and most horrible. And Cole has a friend who's a pigeon, so. I'm it's not saying Carrie's bad. Me. I'm saying statistically Carrie's bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's he's fair. Going, that's some, that's it, some uh, he's psychopath be, shit. He's going to be mean and he's going to hurt me, but Carrie doesn't hurt me. He just has a if statistical it helps, probability to. 
if it helps, I'm no He's longer a pigeon. Yes. I'm a dove. Oh. Which is yeah. the same thing, but just different <laughs> colored. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing is that you don't have dove. pigeon pants. You are on vacation like the rest of our team. Yes. yes I, do wear, <laughs> I do wear nice comfy pants, and I'm a dove, and I look like I'm between magic shows or like between <laughs> weddings. I should have like a cigarette. And is it like, like a, 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 a Donald Duck situation where you just don't have any anything? No, I'm wearing like comfy, nice shorts. Don't I'm gotcha. not going to Donald Duck it ever. I've talked about this on many podcasts. That just frustrates gotcha. me. You would wait. What you wouldn't wait? What have we have we never talked about this before? You and I have never had this conversation. What's going on? That, like, you would never Donald Duck it. We don't. Well, like, we don't. Like I what just. What did he do to you? No, it's not even. It's no. It's the idea of wearing uh, a shirt but no underwear. I mean, okay. yeah, get rid of the shirt. Hang on. Like, <laughs> yeah, but I don't. This is a family show. Is it's it? It's not. It's no, not, it's not. It's really not. I don't. I this don't want. FG TV. <laughs> I don't want my wee wee to touch my shirt. There, I said it. Is that that bold? Is that that brave of no, a statement? No, just take up the shirt. I don't shirt. think so. I, I, what if you just fine, wear a crop top? Like a really I, short shirt. Oh. Donald Now, Doug I would be open to that. Wear yeah, like, what if the food doesn't have that problem? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Maybe I should invest some crop tops when I want to walk <laughs> around without pants on. It doesn't happen that often. I just, it just, all it, re- my life isn't any different. I just am very particular about the order in which I undress. That's all. Oh. Okay. So shirt has to come first. Yes. Undress shirt comes off first. Dressing shirt goes on last. Hmm. Okay. I refuse okay. to do it any other way. Interesting. Hmm. I'm I kind of like, like a, a bottom up kind of guy. Like I, I just start wear, with my socks. It mine's like more like wild. It's just wherever my hands touch first, yeah, that's what's same. going. <laughs> yeah, like I, I found a pair of socks. Cool, that's on first. Underwear, <laughs> sure, why not? I mean, it's okay, yeah, I'm probably, half. I probably would ever put socks on first. That seems really weird to me, and I don't know why. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm weird. Yeah, <laughs> that's the no, only that's thing. what I do. Anything else could go. I just why are we still having clothes <laughs> conversations on this show? <laughs> What else are we going to talk about? We're in quarantine. Rooster Teeth's number one fashion podcast, Jordan. Come yeah. Uh, you I was a very nice. Girls. You have a very Issa's nice here. shirt. And I like it. Thank you. You can't have it. Issa's not here. Okay. We can't talk about Powerpuff Girls without her. Oh, I, I was mean, going to say, could. I've been watching Lovecraft Country. Ooh. Like, Explain. Like HP? Like HBO. Lovecraft? Yeah. Oh, okay. HBO <laughs> Craft. HBO it's, craft. Uh, it's a new uh, like black horror comic or black horror series on uh, HBO that's like oh, it's intense. It's very intense. I don't know how to describe it without getting too spoilery. But it is, is it like loosely based off of like HP Lovecraft's uh, mythos y- or y- stories? Yeah. Yes, I believe, and, it, I believe it is. Yes, okay. in the, in the sense that it's based off of a book that's based off written of by stuff. It is in oh, reference okay. to H.P. Uh, Lovecraft. It is in reference to H.P. Yeah, Lovecraft, yeah. but it's more so kind of dealing with the inherent racism in those stories and taking it from like uh, uh, black lead characters during uh, uh, okay. like Jim Crow law era. America. Yeah, I was gonna say, hey. isn't H.P. Lovecraft like super racist? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't don't Google his cat's name. <laughs> oh no. But don't the but H.P. It's... stands for Harry Potter. It's true. <laughs> They try and uh, they try and big media tries to hide that. But, oh, <laughs> big media, no way. The but, signs uh, are always there. Yeah, it's it's by the same uh, production house that did like Get Out and stuff. Uh, Monkey Paul. Oh, that's cool. So, oh wow, okay. It's yeah, really. It's, uh, it says on that's on HBO. It's on HBO. Yeah, that sounds really good. Actually, I might check that out. Is it? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm I'm assuming it's a pretty like serious show. It's pretty serious. It's very yeah. It's very okay. serious. There is it steps into horror, but it's mostly thriller. Okay. No, like there's some spooky things that happen, but it's mostly like kind of r- tension. Yeah. If you. I mean, it like, sounds kind of like Get Out as yeah. well. Anyways. Yeah. Get Out. Imagine like Get Out with a little bit more monsters. I so to say monsters. Yeah. More monsters. Okay. More well, I mean, more. I guess, yeah, there was white people in that movie, and they were the <laughs> monsters. Yeah, they yeah. were the monsters. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> okay, I get you Which, now. Get same, you. same with this. Just, yeah. just that there's also uh, creatures that will bite heads off and rip limbs off. 
I don't want that. And Cthulhu. That sounds really cool. Hmm. So okay, we we'll we'll save Powerpuff Girls live action okay. question mark for for Issa, but I guess that that was kind of that was it. Was Powerpuff Girls live action? Supposedly. Um, Aaron, I I'd you, give uh, you more information, but how about? <laughs> We could talk about it a little bit, and then we can I fill mean, Lisa I... in. Okay, sure. Why not? My, go for, go we'll for fill it. Lisa in. The only thing I really wanted to bring up is we talked about the cartoon to live action adaptation a little bit last week, and mm -hmm. like how that usually doesn't work out very well. Um, yeah. The on uh, at first thought, you know, you don't really think this sounds that good. Like, why do we need live action Powerpuff Girls? Mm -hmm uh apparently they're aging them up to be in their like mid 20s and now they're like kind of kind of jaded like they're mad that their uh childhood was stolen from them because they had to fight crime all the time and mm -hmm. that has an air of something interesting about it but mm -hmm. at the same time it was like why not just make a story like why why not rely why why it's, rely on the power of girls like name brand recognition when you could just come up with this is essentially a different show <laughs> like yeah it's i mean that seems like it could be uh it's cw what right? was that uh yeah um what was that superhero movie uh oh, Watchmen? Fuck. no it was like uh it had like jesse eisenberg in it uh, uh not kick, kick ass, ass. kick ass yeah, yeah. like it, it sounds like what it, it sounds like a you know deconstruction of superhero i was gonna say i feel like i've heard like, like many a superhero story yeah. of this genre like well it made me think of uh what's... what was it robin from last year that was like fuck batman are they gonna yeah. be like fuck professor x <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> professor plutonium <laughs> professor plutonium oh, whatever is an x professor x is a different <sighs> <laughs> I, just wanted to, I just wanted to call it out before it was internet calling you out yeah how yeah, are jojo jo jo gonna be in this hey uh no, jo jo jo. i'm gonna oh. i'm gonna stick bug myself uh y'all okay. Y'all keep going for a second. I'm gonna. I gotta watch a stick bug video. I wanna watch so, like, you watch it. <laughs> I'm watching the one that you did. It's like the one that has the S, but then it's like not stick bug. Oh, it's like the S that we all drew in high school and middle school. Yeah, the the Stussy S. Is the that what it's called? That's one of the. I names, didn't know it had yeah. a name. Neither did I. I had to look it up. Okay. I was sorry. Uh, some what was it? Somebody I think wrote Stussy S in a script. For camp camp or something i was like what the fuck is that and i had to look it up it's like oh that's oh that's like on, on wikipedia it's like the stussy s or the s or the s that we all <laughs> drew s. in middle school yes yeah, that's, that's what it's called like those are the called. three names yeah the s that we all drew in middle school is the name yeah. that every single person in this podcast <laughs> knows it as yeah yeah How i feel like that deserves become... to be like a a part of like the keyboard like like that <laughs> like i want to like, hit like, like on the control map? shift yeah. six <laughs> and get that or something there needs to be yeah a code where you do alt zero one two three yeah so wait does somebody bring Aaron, up mojo jojo how we're gonna do mojo jojo in this series yeah yeah i they did i'm curious know. how they're gonna do the proportions of the girls oh, they weird. did like gorilla grod and flash and that was not well they received. did yeah it was it did not look very good and i don't want it like if it's on the cw i don't want it to be like they all all cw shows have like that kind of look and feel and like kind of tone to them. Yeah. I just mm -hmm. don't see that working for like, just call it something else. Please. Are you, no, are you but... looking for more of like a, a Rugrats all grown up kind of situation? I'm not looking for anything else. Powerpuff girls. I'm looking for, okay. this new. should just be a, an original show. Called, yeah. But called, that's called grown up powers. We have them. <laughs> well, I mean, then watch, uh, that was the other show I lost watched last week was, um, uh, the boys. Yeah, that was, that was the other one I was thinking of. Like, hmm. Yeah. Where, but but that, that's also based off but, of... Yeah, but everything needs to be normal. based on something now. It's like, yeah. come on. Well, yeah, I think that's if, how you get... But stealing. I think that's what if, how you what get if the money to make it? something. What if we twist it, right? It's still in the same universe, but it's about the Rowdy Rough Boys. That would be actually kind of interesting. And they're adult. And they're, they're looking for trouble. Because they're rowdy. <laughs> I don't remember how their arc ends in the show. I don't remember if they the, turn out that, better or not. No, I think they like disintegrate was... or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I yeah, they, they turn back into snails and tails and snails. All that stuff. 
And at the beginning of this, they get turned back into the Rowdy Rough Boys. Uh Frogs, snails, and puppy dog tails. There you go. Uh Ah. Uh, if Disa listens yeah, to this, just... she's gonna be like, oh, so dumb. I mean, yeah, she's just, gonna be yeah. really mad when I call them fucking Professor X. <laughs> <laughs> like they're an just, asshole. You know, they're aging them up, and like Buttercup is gonna make out with one of the gang green gang oh, no. guys, no. and it's just like she can't do that. Ruin she's the show. True. Maybe she's lesbian. <laughs> she's but, lesbian. But but I don't know. There is and, uh, this may be a bad example. Well, uh, not really. I mean, are people still fans of Archie comics? after Riverdale, like people still like the original source material. The people, and... the people who read Archie comics are not the same people watching Riverdale. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's, it's appealing to a different demographic. Like odds are the people who watch, they're hoping to get a few of the millennials who watch Powerpuff Girls. And yeah, are but that's Riverdale not for them. It's for me. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, uh, I hate to break it to you, but you're a millennial. See, I, well, no. He Cole's argument is that they're targeting the generation under us and hoping oh. to get some of some millennials. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Essentially, they're gonna. Which use, I like, will the, not be one of. It's kind of like how <laughs> you you hear what the generation liked above you, and you're like, "Well, I never got a chance to watch that." Oh wait, this is it, and this oh, is here's the, the digestible version of that content that I like. No, see, I'm, I'm the I, I I like the opposite. I want to see more cartoonification. Oh. More cartoonification of things. So you want something live action turned into a turned cartoon. into a cartoon? Yeah, everything, everything live okay. action mm, mm. turned into animation. What's a show airing right now that would be better as a cartoon? Uh, all that of you're them. You're implying that I'm watching something. Yeah. <laughs> Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> I think the only right thing now. that isn't better uh, cartoon <laughs> is like reality TV. Oh God, that would be awful. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, I mean, they had what was that one? It show? was drawn uh, together, yeah. <laughs> drawn together. I'm gonna be honest. I I don't know what it is. I fucking hate that show. <laughs> I, I also what? hated it. That show is just I like offensive, know. just to be offensive. It's not yeah. like yeah. I I just something about it. Yeah, like I was like into edgy humor, and it just I just hated it. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm sure everybody working on it was great. I'm sure people really enjoyed it. Holy shit, I hated that show. <laughs> usually, usually humor like that works if they're like making some sort of commentary or there's like, you know, some other story underneath, but they would just like well, fuck up those characters for no reason. It was almost like happy tree friends. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. Well, I mean, it, <laughs> like, just get them in fucked up situations. A basic tenet, tenet of like improv and sketch comedies, you have to have a straight man. And that show didn't have any shit. Yeah. <laughs> like there was nobody were, there that's the voice of reason being like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Every single character was like crazy and stupid. Which mm-hmm. I feel like and, and to be fair, you know, I didn't watch a lot of it and I was a lot younger, so maybe it would sit differently with me now. But like I felt like it that's what always Sunny does really well, in my opinion. Yeah. And I know not everybody agrees with this, but like they're all assholes, but at least per episode they pick, okay, this character is not gonna be the asshole, yeah. or at least yeah. less of the asshole. And now Everyone else is going to be the asshole. Um, with Johnny together, it's just like... Yeah, and then in Always Sunny, even if everyone's the asshole, they always have another character who comes in and is like, you guys are terrible people. Like, yeah. everything <laughs> you're about is terrible, and you're bad people. I don't know. So. Whatever. I'm sure... Tell us in the comments, did you like <laughs> Drawn Together? Or do you want if... us to get stick bugged now? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I like the intrigue of what's going to happen next based off human reaction. Like, reality TV, uh, for me, it's yeah. res- wrestling and sports. It's like, those are the few things that if I watch a animated version of, I get less hyped about well, it. There's good sports like, animes. There's good sports anime, but it's not, it doesn't, like, equate to watching your team I see. in a game where you don't know what the outcome is. <laughs> I see. Or you're, you're you saying, don't... like, it would not be interesting to watch, like, just an animated football game. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I, it might be interesting to watch an animated football game. It's going to cost way more money than it's going to cost to, like, right. shoot it. And so we're never going to well, see... <laughs> well, they, they, do, they do pay them boys a lot. That's true. They do pay them boys a lot uh, <laughs> to be um, on the field. That uh, is true, huh? I, I so I actually don't know about that one, Cole. I'm being honest; take, I don't know about that one. If you but take, I wonder what, like, I wonder what the, the money net revenue, if it if it was animated, would be. Sorry, Jordan. Go ahead. Revenue would be different because, like, the overhead is already going to be lower. Because if you take the cost of the stadium, mm-hmm. the like the salary of the players, all the people working, 
in the stadium, uh, the coaches and all the staff. True. Uh, that's you're probably pushing. I mean, with the stadium alone, it's billion dollars. So true. But the already, stadium is just designed a stadium that looks cool. The stadium isn't that owned by that one team, right? It depends. Some are like because they so, they also like, like is, 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 Stan Kroenke owns the one in L.A. Because uh, can't they also the like Rams. rent them out? Like some some are like leased by the city and stuff like that. Yeah. It depends on the situation. But Jeff most Bezos of the time, probably owns a good amount of them, huh? He that could. Got a lot of money. There was there was speculation, and I don't want to turn this into a sports podcast, but um, please don't. <laughs> the Washington the Washington Post was teasing this story about. Oh, oh, bleep that. Uh, they were teasing this story about the Washington football team um, <laughs> coming out. That was going to be a big deal. And since Jeff Bezos owns the Washington Post, there was speculation that he was targeting, uh, forcing like a scandal to make the guy who owns w the Washington football team to sell and Jeff Bezos would buy it. Oh, wow. Yeah, they, but, that, that would have been like super underhanded. Yeah. But this I is mean, not the I, Jeff Bezos podcast, so we don't have to. It could that. be. I, uh, the one thing I do want to say before we move away from that, just you saying that, because it's the first time I've heard it out loud. It's crazy to me how the name, it's 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 the Washington football team. Right yeah. now it's Washington National Football Team. Yeah. Washington National Football Team. It's crazy it's to me that that, that is a better name than what they had. It's yeah. just, right? it's, it's I, still a better name. I really want them to go with the uh, the Red Tails. Red Tails is a hmm. good one, yeah. Because it'd be an homage to the the Red Tail Pilots. That was like the, the Tuskegee, Tuskegee Airmen. Tuskegee Airmen, yeah. Yeah. Oh. And then what? you could also have a dope-ass Red Tail Hawk as your mascot. There you go. See, like, Colgate. There's a it. lot of benefits. It's almost like they could have done this a long time ago. Yeah. And you could keep the same colors. Like, you could still keep, like, the gold and the maroon. <laughs> like, ugh. But, but, yeah, make everything animated. Uh, Even even YouTubers. Watch, watch even, all the live. Even, <laughs> even us. Yeah, Manhole even us. covers? Even manhole color. In Japan. Ooh. Carrie, good what? segue. Good segue. Oh, that's what I love to do in this show. Is segue. <laughs> segue. Yeah, segue. I saw this, this video was recommended to me by YouTube. Whoa. And I was uh intrigued. That's a lot about works. YouTube and you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically in Japan they started uh adding like lights to some manhole covers. And they feature anime characters. Uh so they'll be like I don't know. They had like a whole bunch of different ones. Like holograms? I didn't recognize okay. any of them. They're they're not it's... holograms. Like they're not animated, okay. but they they're are like they are pictures. Lit. Yeah, they're like that. Now. They these are the yeah. worst camera angles I've ever seen. Yeah. And but... the reason they were doing this was apparently to help deter crime or like help prevent it cuz they illuminate from like there they are. Oh, those are cute. Aww, I haven't that's seen those. adorable. That's yeah. adorable. Um, yeah. they like light up from like what 9 p.m. to like 2 a.m. or something yeah, like that. Yeah, if there's more light in in an area yeah. like it deters crime. <laughs> well, and I'm imagining if you're like you've got a knife in your hand and like you're walking towards your target and you're walking towards your target and then you see like Evie Hollow. on the ground you're yeah. like oh. oh. See, that's I don't need a funny to do thing. This. Hey, yeah. I'm Get out of so here. They were trying oh, to yeah. prevent crime, but now they're thinking, oh, some people might want to steal these. That was <laughs> so my now, first thought, oh, Aaron. Shit. I want to be very clear. So now they have security guards watching the manhole covers. Which will decrease Which crime. Which also will decrease crime. I yeah. Guess, this seems yeah, like the most happened. expensive reason for security officers. <laughs> yeah. Because I wonder that they have to get rights to the characters. Like, how did that work? Probably. I would imagine so. I wow, mean, what? it's not as much as a football game. We've established that. This is that. true. What a interesting, like, kind of roundabout way to just have more like police yeah. on the street. Yeah. <laughs> also, maybe it was the government put... yeah. the whole time. <laughs> yeah. They didn't have to put anime characters. They could have just lit up the manhole covers, like, and just be a basic ass yeah. light. But every but they... fucking otaku is going to be coming <gasps> after them now. So <laughs> it's funny because they really in the, dug uh... their own grave. In the video, there's a guy who's credited at, like, they're interviewing him. Okay, and they credit him as a uh, manhole cover photographer. I, is, like, it was, this guy they're it, talking it said, to. It said he was a manhole image collector. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and he cool. was like, I was like, oh, that's probably just, like, a weird mistranslation or something. And then, like, he keeps talking, and the subtitles are, like, saying, it's like, sometimes it's really hard to get 
uh, a good image of manhole covers because it's so dark, but this helps a lot. And I'm like, so you before this, you were going around what? taking pictures <laughs> they, in that night. I'll tell yeah. you, for this video, they should have consulted him beforehand because they're like taking photos like at a like, like, <laughs> yeah. angle way back here. It's like I can't see who's on the cover. I want to see it. How do yeah, I, I, I know? really, I really thought that was more in reference to like now that these have been lit up, I have to collect them all. But no, it's a. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he was apparently oh, going around. One. That's cool. That's oh, yeah. a cool Gundam. Hey, you yeah, know what I'm thinking? Taking a photo of it. That guy thinking? is either either going to eventually take a photo of a crime because apparently they happen around manhole covers, <laughs> or catch a turtle coming out, oh. or this is all a cover and he's going to do a crime. <gasps> He's gonna one of those ball. three things is guaranteed to happen. He's casing every single one of them. He's going to be the guy to steal yeah. them all. Yeah, yeah, he's just, it's all under the guise of, oh, I just like to take pictures of, of manhole covers. Yeah. Click, click, and now they've click, made it really easier because he could be like, take a left at Naruto and we'll, <laughs> we'll get the beach outside of, we'll get the bank outside of bleach. Like, this sounds that was like easy. The, yeah, this sounds like the Crunchyroll office. It's like, okay, th this conference room, the Naruto conference room next to the Ruby conference room. You just have to rub it in that you've been to their office, huh? Oh, their toilets are the best. <laughs> La -dee da Cole. You walk in and the da. seat lowers itself and like sings at you. What? It's crazy. What does it sing? Ha uh, like, me. Oh, okay. I thought it was like a happy thing. poop dance or something. It's a stick bug scene. <laughs> <laughs> you get stick bug. You walk in and get stick bug. <laughs> walk into the stick bug room. <laughs> Aaron, I kinda... tell, me, tell me about this uh, Satoshi Kone documentary. Oh, yes. Because I assume, I assume you, you put this on here. Yes. So Aaron's the responsible one. And yeah. She puts she, topics she on the sheet every topics. week. It's funny because I w had time off and I kept finding like articles on my time off and I would log on to Slack really quick and drop the link so I wouldn't forget. Oh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, apparently, um, what is it? Uh, Katsuka? Katsuka? The, yeah, I think uh, so. It's a French, uh, I guess, what do you call Website <laughs> for animation. <laughs> um, and they are making a documentary for Satoshi Khan because apparently it has, has uh, been 10 years since he passed away. Oh my uh, gosh. And they're just going to make a, what is it called? So the documentary is called Satoshi Khan Dreaming Machine. Uh, there is a French title. I'm not even going to bother to pronounce it. <laughs> uh, but yeah. It could be, hey, you know what? It'd be a fun game. Uh, Cole, would you mind trying to pronounce it? The French uh, one? Yeah. Here, I'll paste it into Discord for you real quick. If, uh, if you just want to break us that uh, off. La Machine à Rebs. Okay, that sounded way I better than I thought I was going to. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. really funny anymore, so. <laughs> okay. Wait, I don't know Did what you learn that in so. the Crunchyroll bathroom? <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they It spoke French to me after I was done. Uh, okay. Oh. Is it omelette du fromage? <laughs> this is really interesting. I'm definitely, I I would like to watch this. That uh, yeah, he seems like a always seemed like a super interesting, yeah, creator. Definitely. To to he, like study as their their process. He yeah. is like a a really good editor director. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He like could make a, anything for live action and animation and make it interesting. Like he yes. could make a, a football game be an interesting animation 100 keep using that as a yeah. barometer yeah i mean there's even like a clip of him online um he like storyboards i don't know if he storyboards all of his movies but he will like storyboard oh. large chunks of it i guess mm -hmm. but they're basically it's basically animation at that point when he does it like oh, every frame is like pristine like clean pencil lines everything like it's like oh my god i don't god. know if this will show up at all <laughs> yeah oh there you go holy shit that's like basically the movie yeah. yeah like everybody's super on model it's crazy it's it's very good yeah i hope that's in focus at least a little bit thank you carrie so yeah like they're making a documentary very excited now i'm just sad that he's gone i know i remember when <laughs> yeah like i heard that he had passed away because mm. i think it was in high school at the time um and i was friends with a bunch of anime nerds so it was a very, a very sad day. I was an anime uh, nerd, but I had friends who were anime nerds. 
Have y'all ever read uh, Opus? No. Mm -mm. It's this like one-off manga he did. Uh, it's really interesting. It's it's about like the the relationship between like the creator and the thing that they create or the characters Ooh. they create. Um, it's just like a one shot. It's like you know, like that thick. Yeah. Um, it's really interesting. It's really good. There's a, it's a yeah one of one of my favorite anime series ever does that. Um, recreators. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's interesting because uh, yeah it it gets you to think about who actually owns characters is it like themselves is it the artist who created them is it the audience who now has a part in mm. telling their story That's uh if you don't know who satoshi kon is i mean he directed paprika perfect blue uh tokyo godfathers uh, uh paranoid and agent that's called yeah paranoid agent paranoid agent um yeah just super super talented person yeah so There's yeah a great Connie. video uh, there's a great video about his like editing style um, on every frame of painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super cool. It's it's crazy. I mean, like you can you can go and watch clips from like Inception and like I think it was The Matrix yep. too. I can't remember now. Yeah, Inception, uh, The Matrix, and I think oh god, I can't remember. There's one more movie that they referenced um, Perfect Blue from. Probably Tenet. <laughs> I'll, I'll we'll never it. find out. <laughs> I'll, I'll look it up right now because that was gonna. I don't have me. a Fortnite account, so I'll never see Tenet. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. I think that's how Call of Duty wins. That's how they win this battle royale game. Is they they get Tenet in their their video game. God, I do hope you think this Christopher movie Nolan? Premiere. Do you think Christopher Nolan even knows what Fortnite is? No, I don't think so. No. No. Okay, so. Apparently, uh, Black Swan referenced uh, Perfect Blue ah. and Requiem for a Dream. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, I've and never I think seen Inception... Re Requiem for a Dream. Yeah, the Inception one was probably like, the biggest. Or, like, yeah. most, that, that uh, was from uh, 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 Paprika. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It's, there yeah, it, they're, they're, they're very amazing movies. Mm -hmm. um, so if you haven't, go check them out. And yeah, it looks like the, the documentary has interviews uh, with a couple different creators. Uh, one of them's uh, Mamoru Hosada, who did uh, oh, nice. Wolf Children and uh, Digimon it, movie. Uh, Summer Wars, the Digimon movie. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, maybe, I think there's better things in the Digimon movie. I'm not saying the Digimon movie's bad. <laughs> How dare yeah. you, Carrie? It's oh, on his resume. Like he's got a very good list that does, you don't need to include the Digimon movie. Ooh, uh, You absolutely do. Go watch Issa's, uh, what was it? Did they? Reaction? I like the Digimon movie. I'm not saying, but look at this still from Paprika. <laughs> they this ripped it the off. Only, they didn't, I don't think they ripped it off. I think they. I know it's like, inspired. <laughs> they homaged it. Yeah. It was. It was a homage. Oh, um, homage. I think homage. there was more scenes too, like the the yeah, hallway yeah. scene and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah. Homage. Um, Jordan, do we need a? We should probably uh, keep talking about the RTX panel, right? Sure. Remind is that a good everyone thing to talk about? Happening. Yeah. Cole's going to be on it. I'm going to be on, be on it. it. Whoa. Only yeah. Cole. Three, Nobody finally. Else. Finally. <laughs> I'm going I'm to storm the convention center. Oh, no. I'm going to be like, hey, yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's no. Nobody oh, there. I don't, have, I don't have to endanger my life? No. Not at all. <gasps> you mean oh, people can digital. get content without endangering their lives by going to a convention center? <laughs> tell, me, tell me, how is this possible, Jordan? <laughs> I wasn't aware you were setting me up for an ad read. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> RTX this year is all virtual. It's Whoa. RTX at home, and uh, we're gonna have a I have notes panel. It's called I have notes colon on RTX. Try to make it sound like kind of clickbaity, so that people uh, yeah. would, would, would come check it out. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're gonna be talking. We're gonna about... roast RTX. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be talking about uh, everything that we're working on and things in the future and stuff like that. It's gonna. It's basically gonna be part like. I have notes, a regular episode, and part uh, department update. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. That'll be fun. I'm excited. Uh, I don't Are we have doing the, that? Is that live? I don't have the thing open. Yeah, it's going to be live. What is <gasps> right, uh, cool. what, what date and time? September 24th. September... There you go. Oh September 24th <laughs> at 4.30. <laughs> Team man, we're, there. we're so good I at this. Stuff. I'm stuck. I have a chair, Matt, and I'm stuck now. <laughs> can't move. I can. Four thirty central. Four thirty central got, time. I'm good. <laughs> what is that? Uh, what is that? UTC. Minus six. What? Minus six UTC. Universal. What is UTC? 
Universal Universal time. time Oh, Uh, is that like England time? It it used to be GMT, Greenwich Mean Time, but... Why did they change it? Everyone decided to not call it that anymore. I don't don't know know if we're in Daylight Savings. Can we get rid of Daylight Savings Time, please? Dude, I saw a tweet that was just like... I saw I saw a tweet that was like 2020 should be the year like it's already all fucked yeah. up we <laughs> wouldn't even notice like just get rid yeah. of it you don't even have to tell us <laughs> yeah who you're just you're just... close Jordan five hours UTC sometimes oh. it's five sometimes it's six who knows you're yeah. unless you're in Arizona that's what I hated like going to Arizona and being like are we on the same time as them because of being from California are we on the same time or are they an hour ahead now I don't know I was I was about to try and end it, but now I want to talk about this. Okay. okay. <laughs> also, why aren't there twenty six hours in a day? Don't even. I will. I will keep it, Jordan. <laughs> okay. Here's what I want to ask y'all. It is yes. currently the day that we're filming this. It is August twenty fifth, twenty twenty. Do you really think it's August twenty fifth, twenty twenty? Do you really think that for over, even just going back oh. to the you know JC days. Do you really think that for 2,020 years, they got We've every single day right? Time. Do you really think so? The season's no. more or less a line. Yeah, I'm so not, look, gotta I'm be not saying Wait, hold on. that like, hold on. It, like spring used to be snowy. I'm just saying like, maybe it's like August 23rd. Are you saying universally everyone in the world forgot? Okay, no, I'm I wanna, saying... I want to hear your point. I want to so, hear your point. So, okay. so I think what, uh, here's what I think Carrie is saying. Okay, make me smarter, please. Go ahead. I think Carrie is saying that timekeeping is so imprecise because our units for measuring time are not perfect, and the uh, day-night cycle, the rotation of the Earth, the revolution of the Earth around the sun is, like, not perfect. Like, that's why we need a leap year, uh, leap day every four years because a year is actually 365.25 days yeah it's so like fucking it, just pick a so number every four of the year we need to <laughs> yeah decide and sometimes we have leap seconds so who knows like how many times like from the time time started whenever that was which is a whole other thing Ooh, to yeah. to whoever was like starting to notice that like mm, maybe we need to add leap days or something like there there's so much lost time there that like yeah, we could be we could be weeks off of what time it actually is. Yeah. But also days of the week and months and years are all constructs of humans anyway, so it really doesn't matter. All right, Jordan. <laughs> I was trying to make like a like a fun point and now you're getting all like, what does it matter? Now it just... always comes down to nihilism. Okay, so <laughs> the modern keeping of time looks like it started in Wait, this is wrong. Okay, when did? Uh oh. I'm trying. It looks like the 15th century. When were century. computers invented? <laughs> the early That's modern time. Way too late. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I'm trying to find. It's not giving me a straight answer. Google. What and the there's heck? so many exactly. different Google calendars. doesn't know. Well, because I exactly. Hebrew calendar. My, there's Chinese to, calendar. How true. I'm hearing Carrie's point is that essentially, like at uh, 1100 uh, AD, mm-hmm. 1200 AD, they all of a sudden they went. Oh, let's start keeping time back 1200 years ago. Then, like, that would be the point that we are now starting as the beginning of our timekeeping of yeah, AD how, and BC. How, how did they know hmm. for sure that when they decided, yeah, it's, it's, uh, hey, we're, we've been meaning to get to this. Uh, let's go ahead and say that it is January 1st, uh, 1200 <laughs> AD. That sounds about right. I think that's what it is. How do they know? How do they know? Well, I'm imagining even, like even the... you get like a ship from like Spain and England meet up and in Spain's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's January 4th. And the <laughs> ship from England's like, no, it's January 5th. Like what do they just like calendars all right. have existed uh, all the way back to like the Roman Empire and even ancient Greece. Ancient so, Maya, or like ancient. Like yeah, Mayans. they had calendars. Some of them are really complicated. I also um, think now we have science that can like carbon date. things. Now we have science. Yes. Science wasn't Looks... invented. <laughs> yeah. Back then. I I'm I'm I would be willing to say from like 1965 on we've been probably <laughs> 19, pretty accurate. 1965. Yeah. I think that's I think that's a little It's too a little late. Late. Too, yeah. I would okay, say so like 1980. <laughs> oh, to the other way. The okay. other way. The other way. <laughs> okay, 1950. I'll give that to you. 1950. Okay. No, I mean, 
<laughs> I mean, like since like the 1600s, I think we've yeah. been pretty accurate. Yeah. Like okay. Copernicus and all of those guys. So th- they were like, okay, it's today's the fifth. And it's I just think and, like, they as, got it as right. we as we observe okay. more of how the universe works and and the solar system and especially like how we measure a year and stuff like I think they probably picked up on that and were able to like make it a little more accurate. Okay. Okay. This is a big brain conversation. Too big. I, brain. Look, I, mean, <laughs> I got brain. a small, me small brain. brain. Yeah, <laughs> small, I got the smallest brain. brains. <laughs> I just wanna, I just wanna drink my pickle beer and get stick bugged. I don't need any of this. Carrie, stop Anytime. describing the perfect life. Stop describing. Oh, like, man. I can never attain that. I always have to do other things. Uh, well, that was another episode of I Have Notes. Oh, we're done uh, already. We're done. That was it. Oh man. Time flies, uh, Aaron. Thank you all for really watching. Does. We really appreciate it. Uh, please, please like, it? subscribe, comment, share, uh, do all of those things. Uh, tell us. Tell us what year you think it really is. <laughs> uh, or, or if you believe science. I use, uh, I use a start too. date. What if, what if they came forth right now and said, uh, they're like, actually, everything's wrong. It's actually 2021. That what would, would not do? surprise me one bit. Yeah. That would, but would, one you, bit. Would, would you accept it? Would you like, if it how was many any other year? That? Then this year, like they told us, if they told us this last year, I'd be like, no, I don't believe you. But since it's 2020 and everything else is fucked uh, up, I am more likely to believe it. It might as well be it, wrong too. Yeah. What if like, they're like, oh, no, this sense? is actually 2019. Next year's 2020. Oh god. I ain't doing that one again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, real no. quick, I went. I, I went to a website. Breaking that news. Was like was like <laughs> uh, calculate what the start date is. Oh no. And. Uh, <laughs> This is, this is an old ass website, but um, as old as I, I got, I got to put the time in. Jesus, I'm, I'm trying oh to do God. this as, as I speak. But the default time was September 11th, 2001, at like 7:45 a.m. And I'm like, uh, why? Uh, well, I mean, I, I know why, but I don't know why. All You're right, on like a uh, conspiracy website. Yeah. Today, Today's start date is 75114.5. That means nothing to me. Yeah, that's just a bunch of numbers. Yeah, yeah I don't know how is that it's the supposed year? to be useful. What is that? Is that a phone number? Just... Yeah, is that, that, call that? Is that my dad? Is that a, is that a fraction? Dad, why don't you call? I think I just doxed someone. I think you did. That sounds like a that sounds like an area code <laughs> oh, no. and Bye. a zip code combined. Bye everybody. Bye. Everybody. Bye. Get stick bugged. Get-